This tutorial will show and explain how to use Parent View and Student View for the Wyoming School District. The first thing you'll want to do is go to wyomingps.org. When you get here, you'll scroll down to this section and click on Parent Links. You'll then choose either I am a parent for Parent View or I am a student for Student View. If you do not have a Parent View account, you may call the school office and they will help you get set up. Another option is to have your child use their Student View link and they will be able to sign in and show you all the information as well. You'll need to sign in. As you can see by looking at the side of the web page, there are many options that you can choose from to gather more information. The two we are going to focus on today are the attendance and the gradebook. When going into the attendance part of the site, we can take a look at individual months by scrolling through using the arrows. Absences that are excused or unexcused are shown, as well as any tardy. If I continue to scroll down, I'll notice there are some areas of red that indicate when a student has been absent from a particular course. I'm going to click on writing. I can find here the dates that this child has been absent from writing and it lets me know if it is an unexcused or an excused absent. Next I'm going to gradebook. As I'm looking through the gradebook I see a number of courses this student is enrolled in. To get more information about that particular course I'm just going to click on the number of the course. Let's take a look at the social studies. By taking a look at this, I can see the letter and percentage grade that this student has earned in this class. It also tells me the number of missing assignments and if there are any upcoming assignments that have been entered into the gradebook that are coming soon. If I continue to go down, I can take a look at individual assignments. Here it tells me what the assignment is titled, when it was due, and how many points the assignment is worth, as well as the percentage of those points that the student earned. In taking a look, I see here on October 8th for the unit test, this student earned 22 of the 30 points which converts to 73.3%. In continuing to look on, I see that this student is missing the Southwest Circle Map Notebook entry for October 12th. It is marked as missing and the student has a 0%. The student could go back and complete this assignment and then it would be graded and entered into the gradebook. So be sure to give your child's teacher plenty of time in order to accomplish this. If after several days, you still do not see a correction in something that you know has been completed, please reach out to the teacher of that course. I hope this helps.